Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're seeking tranquility in Frogpool. Hello everybody. It's August bank holiday weekend. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. It's warm, it's fresh, and it's a lovely day here in Cornwall. What do you do on a bank holiday? Well, we seek somewhere quiet. We're not ones for going and sitting in the gannel for an hour on the way into Newquay. Hopefully this will show you where we go on bank holiday. So for our walk today, we parked here at Gwenup. It's a little tiny car park outside the entrance to the church. Gwenup is a tiny hamlet between Falmouth and Redruth. To help us grow our channel, please subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon. And we're going to go on a four and a half mile circular walk of our own making. Take you about two hours, something like that. Yeah, we wanted to come somewhere nice and quiet. Somewhere with some beautiful views and glorious cottages on, on route as well. Loads of fields as well and some tracks. It's all quiet stuff. There's no busy roads or anything like that. And it should be fantastic. So we'll be posting a normal vlog type style video on YouTube and for more detailed instructions plus walking instructions that you can print out they'll be on Patreon. We've started on Patreon. Details in the description. <laughs> We've just followed the little path around the back of the church and it brings you to the other entrance of the churchyard. It's distinctive with its beautiful slate sundial. When we were here, there was a family getting the church ready for a wedding the next day. And this is the result of the ladies outside, busy working away. I've been reading about the church here and it's thought to be on the site of a monastery which ah. dates back to about 600 AD, so there's been a form of religious site here for about 1400 years. Oh, wow! Yeah. Do you know what I noticed on the history of the church? Was the population going from 10,000 to 800. Really? Gosh. It's normally the other way around, isn't it? It's a gorgeous little church here at Gwenup. What makes it slightly unusual is there's a separate bell tower, which is tucked into the corner there. we've walked about 50 yards from the church hall. The road goes down here, downhill to the left. We're going in the right hand corner to the kissing gate. Yeah, it's great when we do our own walks that I've made up, isn't it? How is that? Never get lost. Well, there is that. I always know where <laughs> I am. It's great. Did you bring the map? No. Are you that confident? It's in my head. I got loads in my head. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> I didn't want to delve. <laughs> you said you wanted to come further afield, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I've brought you into a further field. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you can have that one. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> you get the wrong way. <laughs> Never work with dogs and animals. No, oh, they're the same thing, don't they? <laughs> Stay. Stay. Oh, Daddy's boy. So the farmhouse is the first house we've seen since we've left Gwenup. A little odd kind of dissection of the field here. Obviously this must have been one big field at one time. And they've put these wire fences. Now we're aiming where they merge as a little gap and then a stile beyond. You know where you're going, don't you? So you're getting the idea that we're crossing lots of fields. I think it's nine in total, but it's all on the same kind of path, same heading. A mine stack. Oh yeah, around the distance. It's 
So, you know when we were in the church and it said that the population was 10,000 yeah. and really sank to 800, is that to do with mining? Yeah, it's all to do with mining. If you'd actually come back in time, if you'd been in this area between 1815 and 1840, there was a huge demand for copper. In fact, this whole area was known as the Copper Kingdom. It was the richest square mile of mineralised wealth in the whole world. So we've emerged onto a road to the right, towards the farmhouse. What are you looking at? Oh, I just love these old farm buildings, the way they're just let to kind of deteriorate, but they have their own authentic beauty, don't they? So there's a little footpath tucked away here. Come on, boy. So if you're joining us on Patreon, you might want to know what's involved. We sign up, create an account. I'll put the details of the website below. Patreon, the idea behind it is to help support creators with the cost of running their channels or just as a contribution, a bit of a thank you. If you think we do a good job, you might want to take a look. What are you giggling at? <laughs> well, we might be in Cornwall, but we've still got the internet. And guess what? Minecraft has hit Cornwall. <laughs> so we're about halfway round our walk today. And there's a picnic table if you bring a picnic with you, or the pub. Pub shut, Sarah. I oh, know. Mm. Every time we do this walk, it seems to be shut. It's more of a restaurant, isn't it? Let's go and see if the Methodist chapel is open. It's up behind you. So this is Frogpool Methodist Church. It's a sign at the top. It says 1843. So Methodism was absolutely rife in Cornwall in the 19th century. Uh, we're not far away from Gwennett Pit, which you might have heard of. Oh, it's open. I think we might be able to go and have a look. Imagine this years ago when the mining absolutely packed, yeah. isn't it? It's got an upstairs gallery, isn't it? I'm going up there, I want to have a look. <laughs> Methodism was really big in Cornwall, along with the mining at the time. It was kind of the new thing. John Wesley and Gwennett Pitt up the road that started it really, and it gathered strength and momentum. You had big Sunday school treats and you've got lots of old photographs in archives of um, them wearing those beautiful white pinafore, beautiful and packed, everybody there, hats on, Sunday best. Doesn't happen so much now, but you can get a sense of it here. Imagine that organ pumping out hymns. <laughs> grand as like a traditional church but the chapel still has that air of serenity and calm making you feel a bit closer to maybe things above okay so another name in Cornwall that I just love Frogpool why Frogpool why do you think frogs in a pool but I can't see any yeah no it's over there oh yeah now, Andrew, I think you're really losing the plot now. They're bungalows? Yeah, no, they built over the frog pool years ago to build bungalows. <laughs> really? Yeah. Got to explain that. Yeah. Okay, well, the frogs were quite hard up. And they wanted to move on to somewhere a bit better. So they got in contact with a local developer. He paid them loads of money and they all hopped it. <laughs> Absolutely delighted that the Methodist chapel was open and we could show you inside. That's brilliant. We're going to pick it up now. Down near the Minecraft house one with the hedge <laughs> and then we're going to follow the road down towards the school back to the minecraft hedge and down here
So we've just come down from Frogpool yeah. through Lower Town. Towards Cusgarn. And Cusgarn School is just down there in the distance. But we're not going to go that far. We're going to take this public footpath up to Lana Farm and Saffron Meadow. Found it! There must be frogs in there. <laughs> A frog pool? <laughs> is, that where, is that where they relocated to? This bit does feel as though you're going up somebody's driveway. But it's correct, you're allowed up here, it's a public footpath. Excellent. What is that? No idea. Look. Oh yeah, serious bit of machinery. Yeah. Off a tractor maybe, or? Got hurdle it. Hurdle it. <laughs> Very elegant. So pass through the left hand gate. Yeah. What am I looking at? Potatoes. There are a few potatoes, aren't there? There's one or two in there, isn't there? Oh gosh, it's a big field, isn't it? Reminds me of a casino. What? Full of chips. <laughs> he says he's got another one there. Feel free to chip in below in the comments. Ah! <laughs> You're a golden wonder, Andrew. Or are we a Walker's Crisp? Oh! <laughs> oh very good. <laughs> oh yeah, Walker's, that's quite good, because that's what we're doing. Let me show you one of the prettiest little farm buildings in Cornwall. You adore this, don't you? Beautiful. Follow you me. just think it's a gem, don't you? It is the most ramshackle, run-down building, but it is so charming. So what is it that draws your attention to this place then? Things like this. This abandoned haymaker. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, it should be in a museum, shouldn't it? So I guess what's different to the coastal resorts inland, you get more of a gritty look at Cornwall. The rolling countryside, less Disney, more gritty. There's another one just down the road from the farm. Look at this. Made in Utoxeter. That's a haymaker. Wow, I bet that shook your bones a bit. He's going to be there for ages. We're going to start following the road. It goes quite steeply down to the valley floor to find a little stream. This part does get muddy. I think it'll be muddy whatever time of year. Cascarn Organic Farm Shop. Yeah. It's where you buy your organic farms. Oh. So Kuzgan and the surrounding area was really supplying the mines that we mentioned earlier. So they supplied the candles and the wool for clothing and stuff like that. And there's lots of fantastic houses here. There was an engineer that lived in Kuzgan House called James Watt. I think Andrew knows more about what he invented. What? What, what James Watt invented? <laughs> What? <laughs> Japanese anemone, isn't it? Look. Gorgeous, isn't it? That little potting shed there. So quaint. I'm interested now. Because Garn Farm Shop, fresh coffee, cakes, ice cream. Just up the hill on the right. Ooh. So 
I have almond and raspberry homemade gluten-free cake and I think that looks like walnut and chocolate but that's not gluten-free so I can't have that one that is divine you can so taste the raspberries it is lovely chocolate and walnut banana bread wow and smell those it... bananas <laughs> it does look really mm. scrummy I've never thought about putting a chocolate topping on a banana bread before chocolate goes with most things that's very true <laughs> from chips so have we found a little gem then oh it's superb isn't it mm. proper pit stop isn't it it yeah. is look at this Cascan Valley organic apple juice and that's with apples made from this farm yeah absolutely so this is coming home with us you're carrying that all the way home well, that's dedication home. well that was absolutely marvelous just the ticket it's this beautiful house here it looks like an old mine captain's house it's called Elmsford, the nameplate's in the shade there. Just after its gate, we're going to take a right. Just past Trehaddle Farm, all done up and sparkling. And then look at this adorable cottage. The windows are traditional, the roof of thatch. Absolutely sublime, isn't it? <laughs> Glorious, isn't it? Look, got two different textures on the walls and everything. I think this one's got to be my favourite. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's called Mill House. And every window is a different shape and style with the panes. I think it's just adorable. Well, blackberries everywhere. If you want to make a crumble, I think this is the place to come. And I've got a little face. He loves blackberries, don't you, boy? Is that good? Mmm. I've got one too. It's tasty. Where's mine? <laughs> Makes it look easy, doesn't it? Kazgan Manor House, 16th century did you say? 17th century. 17th century, so 1600s, in the process of being done up. I wonder what it'll look like when it is fully restored. We're still doing the channel in three or four years time, perhaps we'll come back and have a look. It's beautiful. This is uphill. I don't feel guilty for having my raspberry and almond cake now. Well done raspberry and almond cake, get me up this hill. <sighs> oh dear little man, are you looking where daddy's gone? Do you know where he's gone? He left your lead down by the ford, I know. So he's gone back to get it. We've just got to wait here patiently, yes. Bless him, here he comes. Say thank you daddy, thank you daddy. Yeah, have a drink. <laughs> That's some way. It was quite a way back. He can have the dog now. Pull him up the hill. <laughs> well, maybe not. Go this way. So it's such a quiet road. You've even got a strip of green in the middle. And you can walk in the middle. So we're now walking past sunny corner farm. It's quite quiet road isn't it Sarah? Yeah, idyllic. So we carry on going down here a bit. Come to a crossroads and go straight across. And that takes you back down towards Gwenup. Let's have a quick look at our map. We cross fields until we get to Frogpool, climb up for some fantastic views before falling back down towards Cusgarn and along Trehaddle, beautiful area of Cornwall and back along roads to Gwenup. Today's walk is a homemade walk 
bespoke walk to Cornish walking trails. <laughs> so we started here in Gwenup. Went over to Frogpool, lovely little village, back through Cusgarn yeah. and Trihaddle. We've shown you some Cornish cottages, some Cornish countryside, some calm, serene parts of Cornwall in the middle of busy bank holiday August. Yeah, so it shows it is possible to get a real taste of Cornwall, even when Cornwall itself is a really busy place at the moment. And not be stuck in a hot, teasy, horrible traffic jam. We did it! We did it, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so let us know what you think in the comments. We're not going to score this walk because it's our own walk, but let us know what you think.